bomb might be the best current tower in balloon sea dials 2 and you will see why today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages i know everybody loves watching my videos so i've got to include every age group in that demographic we're starting with our bomb shooter. we're going bomb mortar and farm and this loadout did actually receive some buffs in the recent update mostly to the bomb shooter they made the moa bomb eliminator do more damage with the normal attack so i'm really excited to use it. i'm really excited to use it against up one who's starting with his dartling in the very back of the map i think they brought highwayman jericho as well here so we'll see how that plays out but yeah that's that's good that's good today they got their highwayman jericho up nicely done send them some greens there's gonna be greens as well fair enough we just need to get up my clusty here one income boost no, I'm I'm trash at this game. I, dude, I'm gonna leak a million lives now, just because I was three dollars off. That's so unfortunate. That's honestly game changing. That's game changing, guys. Because now I'm gonna struggle so much Jericho camos. It's not even funny. And that's all because of three dollars, three whole dollars. I leaked probably an extra seventy lives due to it. Oh man, well this is gonna be a fun one. Let's get my farm up here. I'm gonna have to get that early decamo mortar. That early bird. And a very early bird there. Alright, got my we got my farm down. It's gonna be pinks. Let's get this up to bigger bombs. They get their first money steal this round as well, so need to be careful about that. On the bright side, I don't think their loadout's very good for this map. Dartling is not normally a good pick on this map, so that is one thing we've got going for us. But yeah, the, the fact we leaked that many lives early game is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. There's some greens, fair enough. I'll go for another farm upgrade. There's some whites. Are they gonna press the button on me? They press the button on whites. I'm gonna have to boost probably. Because I, I can't really be leaking more. Let's get my biker down. Nice. I think I'm gonna just start saving up for my mortar now. I'm not gonna go for any more farm upgrades. I just gotta start saving up for that mortar. Really. Because we need that decamo. That's that's the problem with leaking a million lives early game, guys. That's the issue. It's alchemist, so they're going darkly alk. They don't really need an alchemist up top when I'm only sending them black balloons, though. Their dartling should solo those. Okay, we got the decamo mortar up. Alright. Hopefully we're okay now. That That's a rough start, though. That's a rough start. That's not how we want to start the game, guys. That is not how we want to start the game. But, you know, it happens. It does happen sometimes. And it honestly makes for more interesting games. Because if everything just goes all okay, you know? It's not that interesting of a game. If I just destroy my opponent off the start. That doesn't really make good content. You know, when I make these mistakes, roadblocks come my way. That's when the games get interesting. Also, how am I still leaking? Ninja Kiwi. Plantation, nice. Alright, send him a couple of these. Why not? Okay, we forced the alchemist upgrades at the top. Fair enough. We'll get this up to a plantation. Nice. Let's upgrade that to heavy bombs. We're vibing, we're vibing. Let's get up a second plantation. Perfect. I don't know when they get their next money steal. I am unaware of that. So that's something we need to watch out for. Yeah, we're good against that. He just sent normal ceramics and didn't button press, so. Okay, they stole money. Fair enough. It's going to be a while till the next one, so not really worried. 
We'll eco until they get the rubber gold up. Doesn't appear they're interested at the moment. Okay, they got rubber gold up. I'll stop eco at 1k. 1k eco and then we'll stop. Alright, 1k. Perfect. No more eco. Alright. So despite leaking a million lives at like round one, we've honestly played the rest of the rounds decently well, I think. Just the start was obviously um a bit misplayed on my part. I'll be honest. A bit misplayed. Sorry. I accidentally touched my hit my mic. Alright, next plan of action, I want to save it for this banana research facility. Get that BRF going here. Don't really, I honestly don't think their loadout's super good late game on this map. I mean, Darling Ninja Elk's a, a good strategy, don't get me wrong. I just on this map, it's, I don't know. Okay, we're good against that. They stole again from me, fair enough. He's probably gonna, is he gonna send me fortified mob? Nope, we'll get at that. B or F. Perfect. And we'll keep farming. Keep on farming here, boys. They remove another obstacle. They they be removing all the obstacles except the filing cabinet. Guess that one's not important for them. Now rushes to send up my opponent. Maybe a fortified ZMG round twenty two with button press is smart. That might be a rush I want to send. Honestly, it should be fine against the mob. I don't need a molar for it. Yeah, we're good. We're good there. Uh, they're, sp they're spamming dartlings, which is a little bit odd. Don't really know what's going on there. Oh, I don't have, um, I don't have highway. I don't have Jericho with my strategy. I thought I could send a ZMG for cheap. I was like, why can't I send it? But that's why. Do not have Jericho. Okay, we forced a plasma accelerator on their side. Perfect. We're good. Forced a boost as well. They'll probably be fine here. I, insides are going to be an issue with if they went for a plasma accelerator, though. The ceramics are going to be a big issue for them. They're countering a BFB. That's interesting. Oh, ceramics are a huge issue. They're dead. There's no way. Yeah. If you go for a blue narrow analysis, I mean, they made a lot of mistakes with their defense there, but plasma accelerator is not the move because um, the ceramics, it doesn't knock them back or anything, right? All right, guys, next match of the video. We're on the new map here, actually, which is really exciting. We're on off tide. So my first time playing on the map, going bomb order farm once again. I think this is a decent strategy on this map. I've seen some people running it. So place my bomb right here on close. Perfect. And yeah, we will start as normal. They're going bomb as well. Awesome. I think they brought J Highway Man Jericho. They didn't go biker. So they're bringing a different hero here, which will be interesting. Let's make sure not to mess up my early game and leak a million and a half lives this time, like I did last game. Make sure to get my cluster on the right income boost here. Quite important. 
quite important. They're not sending me any greens, actually. So green cluster should not be hard. And they are are going to leak a lot to greens. Because greens are very strong against a um, bomb shooter here. What balloon boost? Be really annoying. We forced a tower boost. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. You love to see it. They are leaking, leaking. It's because they had to spend money on a highwayman round one. So they obviously can't get their cluster as fast. I assume they're going to get it right now. Yep. But they are already down a lot of lives. Now, hopefully this cluster solos yellows. It feels like it's a pretty good spot. Not a perfect spot. I mean, there's spots. There's maps with better spots. Don't get me wrong. But it's a pretty solid spot. Look at that. It's got a nice, um, it's got a nice feel to it. The cluster on this map has got a nice feel to it. Let's go for my farm right here. There's a lot of farming space on this map. I can place a farmer as well because they have Highwayman and not, um, they have Highwayman Jericho and not normal Jericho. Does he send me pinks? Let's get bigger bombs here. That should defend pinks pretty well, I think, with bigger bombs. Does that defend pinks? We'll get biker with it. No, they have... Okay, I guess that didn't really do anything, but I forgot they had um, Highwayman. Okay, they got heavy bombs on it. Nicely done. We got heavy bombs on mine. We're chilling. So the question is, do they have mortar or do they have submarine? Because if they have mortar, guys, without biker bones, they're not going to have to be dealing that much damage late game with bomb. Because bomb is really dependent on biker bones double damage if you don't have mortar with it. I mean, if you uh, have mortar with it. But if you have sub, obviously, you just first strike stuff. So the question is, do they, have, do they have mortar or sub here? That's the question of the day. It's what everyone's thinking. Why is the bomb, like, almost leaking some of these things? Maybe I didn't place it, ideally. I think you're honestly supposed to place it a little bit lower. If my memory serves me correct from Battles 1. You're supposed to place it... I placed it too much at the peak of this. You're supposed to place it like a little bit more on the left. If I'm correct. If I'm remembering correctly. So this time, since I didn't leak a million and a half lives early game, I should be able to just go for this farm and then my mortar. But the bomb spawn on this map doesn't seem like it's as good as Cobra Command. So I'm not sure because I'm still leaking slowly to... Balloons. Let's, let's slow down my eco. Let's stop ecoing for a second. Just so I can save up for this. All right, I'm not going to cross out my farm. I'm going to save up for mortar now. Send me region blacks. They do. They are going mortar, okay. Oh, they're low as well. Oh my god. Are they dead? They boost. They defended. Nicely done. Forced a boost with some region uh, zebras because they were so low. Wait, what did they get on their mortar? Why does their mortar look so weird? I'm not exactly sure. Are they dead? They're dead. Okay, well... <laughs> yeah. I don't know about bomb on the map, dude. It feels like if you look at the bomb explosion, it looks really good, but it leaks a lot, surprisingly. Like even a heavy bombs bomb shooter is leaking like non balloon boosted black balloons quite a bit. So I don't know. All right, guys, for our final match of the video, we are on the map Sands of Time. Now, this isn't a great bomb map. Um, bomb, it region farms a little bit on this map. This explosion spot's not the best, but I wanted to run bomb for today's video. So we're trying it on Sands of Time. We're against Mike Hunt Sweat, who's starting with a tack shooter in a very stole heavy spot. So I assume they're going some sort of tack eco strategy. They're on Quincy with it as well. Quincy tack eco is interesting. We have frag bombs up. Yeah, I've got no idea what they might be bringing, to be honest. I have no clue. But we'll just do what we do. We'll do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Got first blood on them. Perfect. Bomb's doing pretty solid in the middle. Send him some greens. And we'll save it for my cluster. Do I want to get biker bones round one? Probably not. They went for another tax shooter. Fair enough. Alright, we got my cluster up. Nice. 
Why did they go for a second attack? Actually, that's kind of odd. I just noticed that. Yeah, why did they go for a second attack shooter instead of just upgrading the first one to like a blade shooter? I guess it's cheaper, but I don't know. A little bit odd. A little bit odd. What do we think their strategy is? Tack. I saw Spoon Oils was streaming earlier and he was going Tack Elk's back. So, I mean, it could be that, but I've got no clue. No, it's glue. Tack Glue Village. Tack Glue Village, right? It's got to be Tack Glue Village. Okay, look how much we're leaking into pink boons, by the way. Holy cow. Heavy bombs here. Please, heavy bombs, do your thing. These pink balloons are the death of me. Okay, he once we get heavy bombs up, we're chilling, but dang, dude, those pink balloons were harassing me a little bit. Let's see if we can get a solid amount of leaks on them. I probably can, with a little bit of a layer action. Not saying we're gonna GG around 40 him or anything, but it's nice if we can get a life lead on them real quick. Okay, they defend. Nicely done. They're, and we're making them spend a lot more money on defense. Look at this. They're going for a third attack shooter. So, I mean, it's fine with me. Man has three attack shooters down. Oh my gosh. Bomb is trash on this map. Dude, how are we leaking this badly to Black Balloons? Okay, guys, don't go bomb on this map. I thought the bomb spot was leaking on off tide. Look at Sands of Time, bro. Ninja. Taklu Ninja. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My recording cut out. I don't even know what just happened. All right, we're back. Um, We're on round 15 now here. So they're going Tack Glue Ninja. And I don't think I can honestly rush them. I can try sending a little bit of camos here, but... I'm pretty sure the ninja decamo is kind of reliable for them. Ah, I got some leaks in there, actually. I got some leaks. Right? Uh, maybe not, actually. And camo blooms are just so expensive for me to send, especially when I don't have Jericho. Jericho makes everything cheaper to send, so... I don't think it's worth to send them or spend money on it. Wait, why'd they sell their attack shooter? I'm going to send normal purples. Okay, they go for attack sprayer. No, they're good. They're good. All right. This is definitely an interesting defensive loadout. Tack, Glue, and Ninja. I think I honestly just wait for round 32 and send them a big round 32 rush. And they probably... It's probably just Jover then. But... Yeah, I couldn't really pressure him early game. Especially because Bomb doesn't really anti-stall on this map as well. So they got a decent amount of eco early. Where they could afford a Ring of Fire, a Blade Shooter, and a um, Blinjitsu decamo. Pretty easily. pretty easily now i know what you guys would say ryan send them camo leads first of all the ninja can de camo camo leads and second off they have quincy which will pop camo leads anyways so that's why i'm not sending that but i know i would get the comment so i'm just responding preemptively to the comment that would come round 18 uh we'll go 2500 eco here by the way so 2000 off of pinks and then 500 more from blacks Okay, we're good. We're good against that as well. No worries. Okay, perfect. And we'll go 2600 here, I guess, because I'm already up. They're sending me a BFB. All right. Honestly, should not be much of an issue. Do I send them a fortified ZOMG? Is that a smart send for me? Probably. 
We'll do it. Let's get up a second mauler against this. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to send a fortified ZMG. Nah. I decided against. I decided against. How much does it cost to get level 10 biker? Two, $800? Yeah. We'll be fine here. I don't have to burn a boost against this. I can just biker 10. It's eight sec seven seconds. Okay, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Biker 10 now. Yeah, easy defense. Easy defense. And but they they made the banana central cheaper, by the way, guys. But they made it um produce less. So I think we'll just skip the monkey Wall Street here and go straight for banana central this game. They did make the banana central cheaper, which was interesting. I feel like they've got a decent late game because they have tack and glue and glue buffs tax damage, but the tacks are going to lack pierce because they don't have village buffing it also. Let's get this up to faster decamo so I don't die. That'd be great. Just getting some of some life buff on my bombs. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, I feel like they're going to lack late game pierce and ninja does not have elk either. I mean, it's not going to be a bad strategy that game. Don't get me wrong. Okay, that's 30k, 34k. So I need... 32k on hand. I should be able to get the banana central pretty soon. Probably for round 25. Round for 25 should be pretty good. Plus, look at my eco, dude. My eco is fantastic. Yeah, I got banana central up. Perfect. My eco is actually fantastic here. I mean, they've probably got a great eco as well, don't get me wrong. Because we haven't really anti-stalled much. But I still think they're probably just going to die to some late game rush. I feel like it. Nice. Let's keep on farming. Another one right here. What if I send them the... No, I don't have Jericho. I was, th I was thinking about sending the Jericho Classic. Where you just send infinite ceramics and... um. Since Jericho buffs this balloons you send, it's camo fortified, and the camo balloons could struggle, could make the opponent struggle, but it's not even worth. And they could honestly just counter espionage the camos, and then the blade mousetrom will clean everything up. Can I not fit more bomb shooters? All right, so another one right there. Perfect. Let's go for a decamo sub down here. So then we have insta decamo in case it's some DTs, but I doubt they'd send me DTs. That wouldn't really make much sense in this matchup. And we'll save it for this monkey Wall Street. Oh my gosh, look at their side. I might have honestly underestimated their strategy if that's what their side is looking right like right now. Holy cow, it's kind of scary to look at. It's a little scary to look at, I'm not going to lie. Might have peed my pants a little bit. There might be a little bit of a puddle going on right now, chat. There might be a puddle forming. I don't know what round I should even rush them on as well. I still don't feel like they defend infinitely. Like, I also don't feel like they defend round 40, but I don't either, so it's... But round 30, they definitely defend. And ZMG holdouts aren't good either, because they have Master Bomber and Sabotage. But I'll probably mix some sort of ZMG with BAD rush late game. Because ZMGs can block pretty well, especially because their tax are going to lack Pierce, since they don't have Village to buff their tax. so... ZMGs aren't out of the question, it's just sending a ZMG all out would not be wise. But ZOMGs as a blocking measurement would be smart. Okay, we're saving for Monkeynomics. Monkeynomics, perfect. I'm going to have a huge money lead, so that's one thing we got going for us. But that's a given with farm. But they honestly are really rich as well because the rounds did get stalled.
collect that. Strong. I feel like the later we go, honestly, maybe the better for us, because... I don't know. Without Village in their strategy, I feel like they don't have that high of a damage cap. Village makes a really big difference for Tackle Blue. Obviously, they have Ninja, but... I don't know, dude. I feel like we just take it. We wait a while. We're anti stall in these rounds, which is good. We are getting these rounds. I need to keep using this ability. I keep forgetting to use my monkey off this ability, which is not good. But anti stall in these rounds definitely help me out. Because. It means we're making farm income fast and they're not making that much eco income. What level is Biker? Okay, we we'll want him level 20 as well if they rush me, obviously. If this was a map with more farm space, like off tide too, I would be mun I would be in the money, dude. Off tide, I feel like you can fit so many farms on that. I would just have the full map full filled with farms. But here we're capped at you're actually capped at 10 farm spots, but I had my biker down where I wanted to place my 10th farm, so I couldn't really place it, but yeah. Nine farm spots here. I don't know when to rush. Maybe around 37. Around 37 sounds like a good spot to do it. Yeah, we'll do round 37. We'll do round 37. And I'll lead it off with a bunch of ZMGs. I'll send a lot of ZMGs first to pierce block everything, and then I'll send BADs on top. I think that's a smart way to do it. Another 20,000. Perfect. Okay, 37. Send ZMGs. They boost. We'll send some fortified at the tail end of the ZMGs. Okay, now send BADs on top. That's the plan with the rush. Send 200 bads at your opponent. Accolade, nice. The best player. Notice how the BEDs have not been touched yet, guys. That's because there's ZMGs hidden under them. There's a million ZMGs hidden under the BEDs right now. Okay. Now we just get up a bunch of defense on my side and we wait. There isn't really th anything else I can send them. And we just hope for the best. You can tell there's ZMGs under it because you can see all the stun animations. There's like a million stun animations going on under these BEDs. Yep. And you can see the tail of the ZMG. So the ZMGs did a really good job of blocking for me. Oh crap. I'm an idiot. I don't have a balloon crush, bro. I thought I had a balloon crush. No, 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 no. Dude. I actually sold so hard. Yo, yo, I'm dead if they send me a rush. I can't defend DDTs, bro. I can't defend anything. I thought I had a balloon crush. There's no way. There's no way. I, I might have just sold this, bro. No. We're back. There's... All I can do right now is just spam maulers and hope this can defend any sort of DT rush, but... It's not looking good for me if they counter you with DTs. I can boost triple damage and use a bunch of mauler abilities. They're, not, they're sending. We defended. They only send a couple. They don't have money. They didn't sell any of their defense yet. They're sending again. Come on. 
Bro. They're not defending, right? No. There's still there's still the ZMG insides on their screen. Dude, this, that was such a high IQ rush. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Oh man. Dude, I you guys were probably wondering what I was doing, keeping not having a balloon crush on my side. That scared me, bro. That really scared me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really makes a difference. Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads.